Good morning to our viewers all across the world. Welcome to your poetic interlude on the weekend show. My name is Emeka Uzurumba. And uh, today, now what is poetry? Poetry is an attempt to capture the essence of the chord stuck in the poet by an instance of insight in such a way that the same music will sound in the soul to the reader. Poetry is emotion put into measure. Poetry is a language of imagination and passion to transmit through and to set up in the reader a sense of vibration corresponding to what was felt by the writer. Poetry is also the language in which man explores his own amazement, which is spontaneous outflow of powerful feelings that takes its origins from emotions recollected in tranquility. And joining me on the program today on my poetic itinerant from the United States, I have Mr. James Coburn. Mr. James is a semi-retired journalist and a poet living in Oklahoma City. His credits include twice winning the Associated Press Sweepstakes Award and being inducted into the Oklahoma Journalism Hall of Fame. In 2021, his poem, Silence Cries, was part of the University of Central Oklahoma's commemoration of the 100th anniversary of the Tulsa Oklahoma massacre of more than 300 black innocents who had lived in Greenwood District of Tulsa. His books include Metaphors of the Rainbow, a collaboration with Zimbabwean poet Nbizo Charasa, and being an Oklahoma Book Award finalist for Words of Rain. Good morning, Mr. James. Good morning. It's nice to be here. I'm in good company. Oh, yeah. It's nice to uh, talk to you this morning. Mr. James, so can you read us some of your poems? Because you're going to be reading us Top of Form, Venus Condescending, and uh, another poem. So could you read us some of your poems? Oh, certainly. Okay. I'll start with Top of Form. Okay. Actually, I might change that title. <laughs> but uh, all right. Okay. If you think of me, there is still much to learn. Strands were left by friends who walked away, not always by desire, but primed by the potter's wheel. Into multitudes they vanished or kissed me goodbye through iron gates. Some imploded into vanishing sun, leaving carbon core to cool. Others made grooves in sand until mystery dissolved before motion could bring them here. Friends pure within self attract my orbit. Yesterday is dark matter. Wisdom is a dying star, gravitating life to its core, emitting a bright wave. Okay, Venus descending. And the next, the next poem, Venus descending. When words touch, sunlight penetrates green leaves surrounding you. Water shines over every inch of you, unbeknownst to man, but known to vines discovering secrets of your walk. You move in a jungle where love explores a cliff overlooking a sea. Leopards will not harm you as hands touch sleek muscle, sapphire eyes become you, penetrating a universe shared between us. Okay. And the next poem, Exquisite Sense of Being. The moon rose like a pearl. Over the field it came with tinges of orange and gray conspiring in golden flame to bewitch winter sky of silver blue. Moonlight was colorless until it fell upon you, filling every corner, the journey worth the mile streaming endlessly but found in you, I fall into your being without loss of expectation as we touch. A uh, very lovely poem. Uh, can I just ask you one question? What inspired you to write the poem, Exquisite Sense of Being? It seems like a romantic poem. <laughs> oh, well, it, you know, it is probably a romantic poem. It probably, it's more of a subtext of, I guess, of. Poetry is a subtext of life. It's sort of subliminal, and you bring it bring it to the surface. And sometimes, that dream with within you has seems more acute in reality than the. It's le it's less abstract than what goes on the surface of life because it's at the very core. So I don't know. I, I guess I was I had, had been uh, driving, and I seen the moon at midnight and was thinking 
about romantic um, romanticism, and the poem came about that way. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for coming on the program, Mr. James. I do appreciate your voice. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much. It's nice to be here. Good All right. night. Okay, okay. Goodbye. Bye. All right, my lovely audience all across the world, I hope you have enjoyed watching your poetic into the Donna Weekend show. I just want to shout out to my presenter, Madiki, and I do hope you have a splendid weekend.